Hello everyone and welcome to Noodle Journey, your destination for detailed and informative reviews of the Instant Noodle universe. Today is the first review of 2024 and what better way to ring in the new year than with an ulcer. This is one of those Instant Noodle products that became a social media challenge, Dybok Ghost Pepper Spicy Chicken Flavor. Before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these in-depth reviews. Oh boy, yeah, so if you have a passing familiarity with videos on social media where people challenge eat spicy noodles on camera, then you've probably heard of this one. And there's even instructions here on the back of the cup for how to tag your videos for social media while you film yourself eating this, which, I mean, come on, that's a gimmick. I'm not going to do that. Does anyone really enjoy watching that? Like, just watching someone's gross, sweaty face while they shove hot noodles into their mouth hole? Uh, if you do, leave me a comment. I'm genuinely curious why that appeals to anyone. Anyway, while you can find plenty of videos of people squirming in pain while eating this, one main question gets skipped a lot. Are these actually tasty, or are they just spice bombs? And that's what I aim to find out today. And if you want to find out with me, you can find these at many Asian grocery stores or online retailers for less than $3 a cup. Now, Daibok is a South Korean brand formed by the companies Mami and Shinsegae and manufactured in Malaysia. And they make several varieties of noodles, with the most famous ones here in the U.S. arguably being these spicy ghost pepper noodles. They also have a ghost pepper cheese flavor, Carolina Reaper chicken, habanero chicken, you get the idea. I only have this one, so there's no Daibok Marathon happening on the channel right now, which my insides are grateful for. I don't think I have to explain what ghost pepper spicy chicken flavor is, and if you aren't familiar with this product already, there's going to be quite a surprise when I open this up. So let's just get to the ingredients and cup contents. This cup only has 946 milligrams of sodium in it, which is pretty good for instant noodles if you're not keeping score. I will also note that the back implies here that the ghost pepper they use in this is a million Scoville units, which will probably make it the spiciest thing I've ever eaten next to Bulldog 2X. Let's open this up. So inside the cup, we've got a completely useless plastic fork. A sauce packet. And there's the surprise. Black noodles. Daibok specifically makes the noodles black as an intimidation tactic. There's literally no other reason. They don't have squid ink, they're just intended to strike fear into your soul. Cool. Uh, the noodles are fried wheat noodles with some potato starch, tapioca starch, vegetable concentrate, and cocoa powder, which is a first for me. I assume it's mainly for that color, but it's going to be an interesting flavor if it adds anything else to the noodles. The sauce packet isn't really as surprising. It's got sugar, garlic powder, chili powder, ghost pepper powder, of course, soy powder for artificial meat flavor, sesame oil, and MSG. All right, I'm going to go cook this, and I'll be right back. And here we are, with those scary black noodles just begging to be eaten. So now what you're supposed to do is stir in the sauce, and pray. Alright, and now we stir. Alright, as I'm stirring this up, it's got a smoky pepper smell coming off of it that is already scorching my nose. And there we go. It's all mixed up. It's kind of hard to see the sauce against the black noodles, but that's the point. So, uh, let's give this a taste. Holy shit. <clears throat> okay, normally I talk about the noodles first, but since the focus of this is on the spice, I will score that first. This is hot! I can handle my spice, and I've grown even more spice tolerant over the last couple of years, but this is powerful. I think this is worse than Bulldog 2X. It burns. My mouth is in pain, my lips are in pain. This is an entirely unpleasant experience. 
I can't say for certain how this compares to Bulldog 3X because I've never had it. So for scale, Bulldog 2X was a 9 out of 10 for me. I'm going to score this one as a 9.5 out of 10. This is seriously potent. The noodle quality is actually pretty good. Uh, I've never had noodles made by Diabox parent company Mommy before, but if these are anything to go by, they're nice. They have a medium thickness, decent chew, they didn't get mushy when steeped, there's no weird cocoa powder flavor like I was afraid of. So yeah, these are really good. 8 out of 10 for the noodles. And now the thing I wanted to focus on here in this review, besides the spice, is the flavor. And it's a resounding eh. Once you get past the spice and that initial kind of smoky pepper flavor that I described, there was really not much else to this beyond salt. There's that very slight savory flavor from soy, but I'm not noticing garlic. And uh, I don't actually think the pepper that they use for this is very flavorful. Like, I really enjoy a hot pepper that's still got some decent fruitiness and pepper flavor. Something like a habanero or a Carolina Reaper. But this is just a lot of spice with very little nuance. It's not completely flavorless, but if I'm going to eat something spicy for my own pleasure and not for internet clout, especially something this spicy, uh, I want something more for my taste buds to enjoy. And aside from that initial hit of smokiness, the flavor here is just as basic as they come, almost an afterthought to the spice gimmick. And yes, after tasting this and feeling the tears running down my cheek currently, uh, I am convinced more than ever that this is a gimmick, as if the hashtag instructions on the cup weren't already an indication. I won't say it's terrible, but it's certainly not something I'll ever eat again. So, a mediocre sauce, a ridiculously high spice level, and really great noodles all together puts this at a 3.5 out of 10 for me overall. I don't think I'll be finishing this, and uh, my stomach will be glad to hear that. Yeah, from a flavor perspective, this is kind of just okay. If you're looking for a very simple recipe to challenge yourself with from a spice perspective, and you want something that's not bulldock, then yeah, this will do the trick. You too can film yourself writhing in pain while eating noodles if that tickles your fancy. But if you're looking for a spicy noodle cup to eat by yourself without the challenge aspect, I'm afraid that this is just average. I know Bulldog has its fair share of detractors, but this sauce doesn't come close to the amount of flavor and nuance in Bulldog sauce. Still, I like the noodles that are in here, and I do hope to try more products by Daibok slash Mami in the future. I just don't need to ever buy this one again. If you've tried this or have filmed yourself eating it, let me know how it went in the comments. I will keep an eye out for the other spicy Daibok cups in the meantime. Maybe some of them are more flavorful than this. And as always, I've got some interesting new stuff coming up in the next videos, so please remember to subscribe and enable your notifications, and I hope to see you next time on Noodle Journey.